Hello everyone. Welcome to week 4. This week I started writing on another experience of uh, for another conference of learning analytics regarding a another conference paper whose deadline is in the month of end of this month of September. I will it's the conference will be in Arizona, USA. It is one of the fifth most cited conference in our field. So that's the reason I'm so much motivated to uh, submit a paper in this conference. Don't get shocked. I know that there is only 15 days left for submitting for the conference. But still, I have some work because I have already finished one year of my PhD. So I have some already finished literature survey, which I finished few months back. And I'll be reusing some of that stuff for writing this paper, which will be a kind of a literature survey in my research domain. So what actually is a literature survey? Literature survey or review, however you call it, or I don't find that much of a difference, although they are not the same. It actually informs the researcher or the person who is doing the literature survey about that particular domain or that particular topic what is happening currently and what has happened now and what are the methodological uh, applications or the methodology that has been done in that domain and what has been the current progress so when you get that information then what it does it it helps you to kind of gain and state-of-the-art idea and next you can apply that to like define your problem like what is the problem that you are looking for in your research it may be in science or maybe in food maybe in arts or any field like what is the main problem you're looking for and you find different gaps in the literature based on uh, these gaps your problem is also defined for example, a person X wants to uh, research on the origin of the universe. Then suppose you imagine that he might be interested in maybe Big Bang Theory or maybe some kind of literature related to the stars or the black holes or sort of stuff. So what he does is he tries to gain knowledge in these different fields and different fields before he starts to find the gaps that are present uh, for the origin of the universe. Suppose you assume that uh, there is nowhere where there is a, uh, I mean like an equation or a, a defined methodology where it is defined that how come something came up in the universe from nowhere. like earth or the stars or anything how they came up from nowhere like something from nothing so just assume this is like a fictional definition or example of what can be the literature survey and how does it progress is like how does it help to find you the gaps so that was the so-called lesson of the week related to my experience or the tip and Obviously this week I will be writing the paper. In a future video I will try to explain how you perform a literature survey. It is really essential because when you start your PhD you need to know really what are the main ingredients of literature survey step by step. So I am going to explain that in future videos. It's, it will be a bit elaborate so that you can understand it properly. And maybe you can also leave comments below what you actually want to know in the steps of the literature survey like a schematic overview or some kind of examples based on my literature survey or some some kind of shortcut tips 
what you can do while compiling all the literature and how you take notes and sort of stuff do leave the suggestions or the comments below so that i can help you out life here in valkenburg uh, i was living like long back for two years in delft compared to delft valkenburg is uh, kind of like delft is always bustling with people because it's a small city and a lot of students are there but valkenburg is oh it, sometimes it can be i don't know like it feels kind of silent but in a way it is uh, good like i like that environment because i like to work in a silent environment and my work also calls for working from home two days a week so in a way that helps me a lot when i work two days a week from home so i go to the university for three days it's much easier to concentrate when you have you are in a serene environment so that's why i also like valkenburg and it moreover it's more beautiful than where i was staying in delft the reason i said this because from the beginning many users are requesting me to explain about the situation or the surrounding where i'm living in uh, apart from my phd so that's the reason i went so deep in it so next is it will be obviously the same writing papers and at the end of the week we go to maastricht to get a real japanese sushi experience it was like a place in maastricht uh, where there was a sushi festival for like two days saturday and sunday uh, what we did was it was really nice because you can taste different types of food stalls and there was music there was like friends company and we i think uh, probably we enjoyed six or five different types of food uh, you can see those now in the pictures these different foods so the great thing was that this video will explain you it was kind of a i don't remember the japanese name maybe i'll leave it in the uh, embedded text so it was kind of a thing with the batter and octopus and something which was really nice oki okimaki or something i'll leave the description below this was really nice we enjoyed the process of how they made it and there are different stuffs like the tender juicy chicken with japanese chicken which is really nice and we also had pad thai it was very surprising it was a sushi festival but there was also pad thai and there are like the different kinds of dishes like korean chicken and ramen soup and all sort of stuff the main highlight which for the the, the, the reason i like this is because we just went there to enjoy but suddenly what happened we are sitting in a table there was like a couple they came to us and they asked like can we sit here and we we're like okay yeah we met them after a brief chat with those people we realized that we have a common friend yes and that is my promoter one of my promoter already knows him and he was like surprised how often do you see like this a stranger in a sushi festival and you realize that you can help each other and he's like a entrepreneur who is living near where i live and he also offered to help around like if i need any experiment to perform any experiments then he can help me because he kinds of acts as a coach to coach some group or some individuals for basic skills like presentation skills and other types of skills which you need in your day to day life so that was like very i mean like i felt very happy in myself i was really happy uh because you how often you meet suddenly someone and you realize that he knows you he's like your distant uh, friend and uh, he can help you in future to perform your experiments and all this type of stuff so it is like building your contacts or the networks so that's the reason i would always suggest you like 
if you go to this kind of events in the weekends i don't uh, uh, force you to go but if you go then try to talk to people if you get an opportunity and who knows uh, you might find your future employer or maybe your future collaborator no one knows so see you in week five and till then bye bye